Now here's the thing, either learn JavaScript or Python and you'll be pretty safe in 2022. But are they future proof? So there's definitely more to the story and to make things more complicated, neither JavaScript nor Python hold the number one position in 2022. I looked at an average pay scale and the future demand for each of the programming languages available today and made a list of top five programming languages that future-proof your career for the coming years. I'm sure you want to know which programming language holds the number one position. So let's get started with the countdown. At number five, we have Swift. Swift is a programming language that was created by Apple to facilitate the development of native applications for all Apple devices. With Apple moving away from Intel's chips and creating its own custom silicon, Swift is the native programming language to explore all that power. It's a beautiful language and pretty modern one as well. There is a huge collection of native Apple apps that need maintenance and new apps for Apple devices are a priority for many companies out there. Swift as a programming language is not going anywhere and iOS developers are paid an average annual salary of $115,000, which is the highest amongst all the programming languages that I'm going to talk about in this particular video. So if you are an Apple fanboy and have that eye for detail and ready to work on Apple specific apps, then Swift is the programming language for you. At number four, we have Java and Kotlin. Kotlin was declared as the official language for Android app development by Google in 2019. Kotlin is a cross-platform, statically typed, general-purpose programming language with type inference. Kotlin is designed to interoperate fully with Java. There are many desktop and mission-critical web applications that use Java today. Apart from this, Android installations surpass iOS installations in terms of number because Android is open source and there are way more Android devices out there as compared to iOS devices. So be it the present requirement or the future needs, Java developers are foreseen to stay in demand for coming years. As far as salary is concerned, Java developers are paid an average salary of $100,000 in US. This is a bit lower than the iOS developers, but depends on your experience and job role as well. The third position in the list is held by Python. Python is one of the most accessible programming languages available because it has a very simplified syntax which gives more emphasis on natural language. Due to its big supportive community, Python has excellent libraries that you can use in order to save your time and effort during the initial development cycle of your application. This is pretty evident when it comes to machine learning and big data. In fact, when we talk about big data and machine learning, Python is the second most popular tool used after the R language. Python developers are paid an average salary of around $110,000 annually according to Indeed in United States. So if big data, machine learning, and cloud computing is what you intend to work on, Python is the programming language for you. Before I share which programming languages hold the number one and number two position, if you like this video, I would request you to give it a like and share it with your friends who are also looking forward to starting their career as a software developer. And if I was able to help you in any way, please, please, please consider subscribing to my channel. I will be honest with you, it helps a lot with YouTube algorithm and helps me keep making these videos. I promise I will always share the latest and the greatest content with you. Once again, please, please subscribe if you haven't already. So the next kid on the block is a new member which holds the number two position. A few years back, I wouldn't have even probably suggested anyone to learn C Sharp, but things have changed now. And if it goes this way, the importance of C-sharp programmers is only going to increase. C-sharp is a very powerful and mature language and was primarily confined only to Windows world. But in 2015, .NET Core was made cross-platform and open source, which means C-sharp now can be used to develop applications for any operating system that you can think of. So be it Windows, 
Mac OS or Linux, you are covered there. On top of that, there are Microsoft's enterprise solutions such as CRM Dynamics, SharePoint, etc., which are used by enterprises across the world and need developers for building solutions and maintaining them as well. Unity, which is one of the largest gaming engines, uses C Sharp 2. With introduction of Blazor, which is a front end framework that uses C Sharp with WebAssembly, Microsoft has set standards for any other programming language out there. .NET developers make an average of $94,000 annually. This might seem to be lower than other programming languages, but the future belongs to C Sharp developers. At present, the advantages that C Sharp offers as a programming language, no other programming language does that. So if you want to be a versatile developer and own the future, go ahead with C Sharp. Any guesses for the number one position? It's TypeScript. Just to be clear, I did not say JavaScript. Even though TypeScript is just a transpiler and ultimately it compiles to JavaScript only. But TypeScript is what makes JavaScript beautiful. It adds all those object-oriented programming capabilities that have been missing in JavaScript. TypeScript solves the problem related to the architecture of your JavaScript programs and lets you use various object-oriented design patterns easily in your JavaScript programs. The adoption of JavaScript has been so high in past due to the broad spectrum of applications it can be used for. You have variety of frameworks for front-end web applications such as React, Vue.js and Angular and runtime environments like Node.js and Dino which lets you create server-side applications as well. You can create native mobile apps for Android and iOS using libraries like React Native and create desktop applications with JavaScript as well using frameworks like Electron. You would be surprised to know that your favorite code editor that is the Visual Studio Code has been developed using Electron. So from web applications, desktop applications, mobile apps, enterprise apps and to games, JavaScript powers a lot of applications today and the adoption is increasing day by day. And if you want to write elegant JavaScript applications, you must transition to using TypeScript. JavaScript developers earn an average annual salary of $111,000, which is the second highest amongst the programming languages that I have spoken about in this particular video. So if you want to dominate the complete development stack, learn TypeScript. I have also started a complete tutorial series on TypeScript on YouTube. You can find the link in the card if you are interested in learning TypeScript. Do let me know in the comments below as to which programming language will you like to learn and if you have any questions while making a choice, I will certainly be able to help you out. Just post them in the comments below. I hope I was able to help and here are a few other videos that you might be interested in watching. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.